Hey, this is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. I wanted to make a quick video outlining what this little staging pop-up means when you uh, see that pop-up on your Lifter LMS website. You may be confused as to what it means, what it's doing there, and I'll explain quickly here. So uh, with Lifter LMS, this is only going to apply to recurring payments. So if you have a recurring access plan through Stripe or PayPal with Lifter LMS directly or probably Authorize.net too, uh, whenever you process a transaction with PayPal, the first time you process that recurring transaction, you get a token that you can then use to charge their account again. And that's how you charge them monthly uh, for or yearly or whatever the subscription is for your online course or membership. And that data is stored in the orders. And if you were to duplicate your website or create like a staging copy of your website, now both websites have the token and are set up to charge your uh, students. So there would be double billing going on if your live site is charging them monthly and then your staging site is also charging them monthly. So now they're getting double billed and, and you'll probably get some angry calls. So what this staging feature does is it lets you know that automatic payments are disabled on this website. So if I go to the Lifter LMS general settings here, just at the top, you can also see on this page whether automatic payments are enabled or disabled and it should line up right here with if you're on a staging website, it says staging right there, it will be disabled. And if you are actually on your live website and you do want to be processing payments uh, on a recurring basis, you can head to status right here under Lifter LMS status, tools and utilities at the top, and then automatic payments. Go ahead and reset automatic payments. You'll get a pop-up like this that says, hey, looks like you installed Lifter on a staging site. You can either leave payments disabled or go ahead and enable your automatic payments. I'm going to go ahead and click that, enable automatic payments, and you can see my staging notification goes away here. And if I go back to my Lifter LMS settings, the general tab here, we'll see automatic payments are now enabled. So my website is going to be charging people uh, the recurring payments. Now, this is not going to apply if you're only doing single one-time payments or if you're using WooCommerce or another system to accept your payments. This is only for the Lifter LMS order system when doing recurring payments. You want to make sure that only one of your websites is uh, set up to be live like my site is now and all your other websites should have that staging uh, bubble right there and uh, if you're a little bit worried about that if you do have uh, maybe a staging site but it doesn't have the staging pop-up it's pretty easy just go to lifter lms status like i did there under the tools and utilities you'll just reset your automatic payments and then we'll get that pop-up and we'll say leave the payments disabled and this is how you can disable automatic payments on your website so now they are no longer going to be processing those automatic payments. So yeah, that's just a rundown on what that pop-up is there, what it means, and what it can do for your Lifter LMS website.